everyone. Welcome back to Thoughtful Thursdays. Today's devotion is entitled Yard Sales. And the verse for today is Mark 10, 22. But he was stunned at this demand and he went away grieving because he had many possessions. A person is never fully aware of how attached she is to her stuff until strangers are digging through it in her front yard. It's hard not to be offended when someone offers you only a quarter for that treasured possession you cherished through all of your middle school years. It is probably safe to say that we place a little too much value on things. Each year, hundreds of people make the decision to spread their entire lives out on folding tables. They attempt to assign prices to unknown clothing and unused toasters, knowing that one of the two outcomes will take place. Someone is going to load the items into their car and drive away, or no one will consider the items worthy of purchasing, and they will be left behind. There is a little heartache either way. The rich young ruler decided or desired eternal life and he took pride in being a keeper of the commandments. On the outside, he seemed to be everything that Christ's followers should be. But Jesus, knowing the young man's heart, revealed what truly held his devotion. Jesus told him to sell everything he owned in exchange for treasures in heaven, which caused the man to walk away in sadness. It is easy enough to accumulate stuff. If we aren't careful, however, our things begin to take up as much space in our hearts as they do in our homes. We may find ourselves holding a little too tightly to the things of this world. Although we may try to justify this, the reality is it's idolatry. Do we love our stuff a little too much? Maybe it's time for a yard sale. The desire of my heart, Lord, is to hold loosely to the things of this world. Help me to make you my true treasure, for possessions are a poor substitute. Amen. Yard sales. Now we're talking because my grandmother, my mom's mom, she got us all started in yard sales like she would even come pick me up from school on Fridays. <laughs> she was the best. God rest ma'am. I know she's up there in heaven rejoicing with her sister tops. But, um, hey, she said I was learning math. If I could do the money. <laughs> so anyway, I used to love yard sales. Now that I have so much stuff, you know, and the kids are older and we don't really need things, they're not as fun, but they're still nice to get out every once in a while. But growing up, you know, in the years, they served a big purpose. And for my kids' stuff, I could get them very inexpensive. But, you know, sometimes I do recognize that things held a bigger part of my heart than making time for the Lord. And, um wasp all over here but uh you know the older and the closer i get to god the less they mean you know things are things we're getting to the end the older we get and we can't take them with us and so we better start storing up treasures in heaven because you know there are verses about our crown in heaven and um we'll be rewarded by what we do here on earth and I want to please the Lord more than get things for myself here on earth because like the Bible also says our lives are just a vapor so before we know it it's going to be over and you know we don't have to look like doom and gloom we need to live while we're here and live the best that we can for the Lord and for others and for ourselves but let us not put too much investment into things rather than what is going to preserve our soul in heaven with the Lord so here today it's like 
think 81 or 82. It's not too bad today. Praise the Lord. I'm not melting. <laughs> but it's going to get hot again. And we have bad storms Tuesday night. You know, these chairs were flipped over. A couple of the plants were my parents and PA. They had a big, huge tree snap in half. And Michigan was out without power too so it's just been devastating in many places but not here it hasn't been that bad but I'm just saying overall so in Iowa prayers for them because they have a lot of flooding going on but I hope that you are doing well take care of yourselves praise the Lord this is the day the Lord has made and rejoice in it be happy so God bless y'all love ya bye Thank you.